Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Pocophone F1 on Phone Ops, and we are excited today because we are going to transform this device from a Pocophone F1 to a Pixel 5. In true honor, we are going to do that not on the hardware side of things, but as we know what we do on this channel, on the software side of things. There is a ROM named as the Pixel ROM. It is based on the Pixel 5. Majority of the features are working. I have already shot a review about it. That should be coming out tomorrow or day after and maybe if there are enough requests we will also make a gaming review. Now there are two ways to install it. I will talk about it and then we'll begin the installation process along with what files are needed. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find the link to our Telegram community where we are about to complete a thousand members. So go ahead and support us there. And you can join us on our social media like Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. We are active there as well. Last but not the least, if you think the daily uploads are worth the effort and the live streams are amazing, please click on the join button and support us. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kailash, let's get going. Alright, so first things first before we begin, uh, let me tell you what this ROM is all about. This is a ROM based on Pixel 5. It is a custom ROM, yes, and it will make your phone feel and look exactly like a Pixel 5, at least on the display. All right. Now, there are two ways to install it. One is the AOSP recovery way. Now, if you go that way, you need a computer and you will get complete peace of mind because when you do that, what exactly happens is whenever there is a small OT update, just like a Pixel device, like not directly from Google, but from the developer, you don't need to, you know, manually flash the complete ROM. But this method that we are using, if you have TWRP and I'll tell you which TWRP we need, you will have to go ahead and flash the complete ROM package, which I guess is fine. You still get to keep your TWRP and you don't need a PC to keep the AOSP recovery. All right. Now there was everything about this particular ROM. Let's talk about what all we need. First of all, make sure you have more than 50% battery. Don't do it at 20 or 30% battery because if your phone dies and it breaks, there'll be a problem. Make sure all your data is backed up, including internal storage, your phones, photos, you know, music, everything will be deleted because we are going to convert the file system into F2FS. All right, so let me show you the three files that we will need. We have the ASP recovery remover, beryllium OTA, that is the ROM and metadata. Now, before we begin, two things to note over here. If you are on MIUI 12.0.3, make sure you've removed your fingerprint, face unlock, MI account, Google account, everything. And if you're coming from a custom ROM, remove all the accounts you can to make sure you don't have any encryption decryption issues. Now, the next thing that you need to do is if you're on Orange Fox or any other custom recovery, before you actually proceed to the step that we are going to follow over here, I would highly recommend you go to TWRP 3.5, not the latest 3.5.1 on which I recently made a video because this particular setup works well to install this particular ROM. Now, once everything is set, the stage is set, let's go ahead and begin the flashing process. So go to wipe, advanced wipe dalvik cache system vendor data we won't be wiping internal because that's where our files are okay once everything is wiped we can go to install first we will select the rom and then the aosp remover then the metadata file swipe to confirm flash now these are three files it'll take anywhere between two to three minutes so please be patient and remember, as I said earlier, that you need to make sure everything on your phone's internal storage is backed up because after this is flashed, we will be changing the ext4 partition to f2fs for the cache partition and the data partition. Now, when you do that, it destroys everything on your internal storage, including your files. So let's wait for this to flash and we will do the remaining steps. All right. Now, as you can see over here, everything has been flashed. So just make sure that the script has subscribed the script has succeeded and all the flashing has completed successfully and it looks like everything has been flashed. Now we need to actually go ahead and change the partition to F2FS without which it will not boot. That means that this is a mandatory step. So we will go to wipe, advanced wipe, select the data partition, select this option called repair or change file system and change file system 
select F2FS and swipe to change. Okay, now once again go to wipe, advanced wipe, select the cache partition, repair or change file system, change file system, select F2FS, swipe to change. Okay, now everything is done, reboot and system. Now this is a pixel based ROM and it does take three to four minutes to boot. So please be patient while that happens and you will see that in just a couple of seconds we will have the pixel boot logo. There you go. We have the Google boot animation. So let's wait for the ROM to boot up. All right. Now, as you can see, we are on the home screen. I'll quickly skip the setup part over here. We don't have a SIM card in this phone. All right. So just like that, we are on the home screen of this beautiful, beautiful ROM. Let's increase the brightness. Let's go to settings. Let's go to about and let's go to now you see over here. It says Pixel 5 Android version 11 March security patch. So yes, everything working smooth as butter and it booted in less than three minutes for me. So that's pretty, pretty neat. And you do have the Pixel 5 ROM installed on your phone. Now you can boot into TWRP and check if TWRP is still there by pressing the volume up and power button till the time you see the boot logo. Now the kernel that they're using is a disrupt kernel. I would recommend don't use a custom kernel. And as you can see, TWRP is still there. The only thing is, as I said, whenever this developer releases an update to this beautiful, beautiful ROM, you will have to manually flash the complete zip. But there you have it, guys. This was an easy, quick, step-by-step -step guide to install the Pixel ROM and transform your Pocophone F1 into a Google Pixel 5 with all the latest features. Wait for the full review. Let me know in the comment section how did you like it. Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.